Hello everyone, Shroomer here and welcome back to Let's Make a Mini, the series where I'll be taking some of our favourite characters in the world of TV, movies, video games, comic books, all that good stuff, and making them as TTRPG minifigures right here on Hero Forge. Yes indeed. Now, today I am very hyped. So, for a long time I was trying to make video game characters from kind of the indie section of games, and I tried quite a few. Uh, and not many of them worked. I ended up having to make, like, edited, reimagined versions. Like, I made a reimagined version of Hollow Knight, because he's very difficult to make in Hero Forge. Similar kind of thing with Minecraft Steve. I uh, just made a basic sort of knight kind of figure. I tried with, um, uh, Super Meat Boy, and that went spectacularly wrong. Um, it was, it was awful. <clears throat> uh... It was, yeah, it was just, just a bad time to, to be to be that character. But there is one that I think we can really work very well with, and that is going to be Shovel Knight. Oh yes, I think we can make a really good approximation of Shovel Knight. I think Hero Forge has all of the tools we need to make a really good Shovel Knight. So without further ado, let's make a mini. Starting off with our human male now. Some interesting things are going to be happening here. Um, we're going to look into the head, and we're actually going to remove basically everything. Uh, we're going to remove the ears. We're going to remove the hair. We're going to remove the eyebrows. We're going to remove the mm, eyes, maybe. Well, the main thing actually we need to do here is change his face to the completely blank one. Yeah. Weren't expecting that, were you? Ho ho! Fun times. Yes, we're going to remove that entirely because that's going to be completely monotone. We don't need anything on there at all. In fact, it's better that we don't have anything at all. So yeah, that's pretty much all we need to work on on the body. We we do need to make him a little bit squatter and a little bit bigger. So we're going to make him down to about 5'5", five, 5'4". Five, five, uh, we'll take up just the weight in general. Uh, and we'll take up the build because he's got some nice wide shoulders. And we'll give him a bit more muscularity. <clears throat> but that's all we really need to do on the body. Now we can get onto the fun stuff. Now, this doesn't look like Shovel Knight. Not even a little bit, but it will, I promise you. So, let's take a look at the clothing. We'll start with the chest piece, and what we really want here is something quite simple that we can make mostly monotone, just it's kind of two-tone blue with a bit of like gold inlay going on, on like the, the pauldrons and the belt and stuff. So realistically what we're looking at here is a mixture of like paladin stuff and maybe some tactical armor for the for the for the, uh, the trousers. The paladin armor is definitely a shoe in though uh, because it's the plainest but bulkiest armor that we had access to. So let's find it. Let's find it together gang. Shall we hear it is paladin's chest piece. Lovely. Now the neck is a bit different, a bit difficult, but that doesn't matter realistically because we're not going to be changing we're not going to be seeing it much the one thing i do want to do though and i not, wouldn't normally do this i want to add in the color of certain parts first and that is actually going to be the face it's going to be the face and we're going to actually weirdly color it in in primer now why on earth would we do this well there is a very simple reason because that's what we want to do. I'm going to do this as well, because I can. But that is what we're going to do with the face, because the helmet is going to cover most of it. And while I'm on that note, let's look into the helmet. Now, last video when I did the Dragonborn, I talked about editing helmets to have horns on them when the in-game or in-character thing is a horned helmet. We're going to do the same thing here, but with a different helmet and different horns. So... The helmet we're going to be using is, I think it's called a Barbute or something. Um, I can't quite remember. It is around here somewhere, though. So I'm just going to find it, see if I can find out where that helmet's gone. It's around here somewhere. I've probably gone past it, and I have. But we'll still keep on going on this journey together, gang, to find the right helmet. Shout if you see it. I won't be able to hear you. There it is. Barbute. Perfect. That is exactly the helmet we're looking for. But of course, it's a horned helmet. How are we going to deal with that? Well, we're just going to add horns like we did last time. Um, so going on to the head, we get some horns. Now, realistically, these are probably the horns we're going to be using. I mean, look at that. 
it's Shovel Knight, it just is. So now with that done, we can do the posing later. What we want to work with now is um, some some colour a little bit. I want to do put some colour in and some more, some more clothing actually. Let's do the clothing first while we're talking about it. Now on the legs, we again want something quite simplistic and the, some of the power armors are going to be the best options here because it will give us more sort of segmented stuff to work with. We want on the legs, we want segmented stuff. That's going to be the best option. So, that in mind, I'm looking for something like this, the power armor. It's got a belt, it's got this kind of stuff. Most of the leg won't be seen because I really have some some uh, some feet, some feet, some um, some shoes in mind. But I want to make sure everything is colored before I do that. So I'm actually going to go into the color. Now I'm doing things in a weird way, I'm aware, but it's all going to be for the greater good. The greater good. Uh, we don't need to do a theme thing here. All we need is the color. And most of these are going to be metal work, and we're going to be working a lot with these two. Sky Castle Blue and Deep Armor. Now, looking at him, a lot of this is going to be blue. This Deep Armor Blue. A lot of the helmet is going to be the Deep Armor Blue. Sorry, not the Deep Armor Blue. We're talking about the Sky Castle Blue. I'll make the rivets that color. Most of the rest of it is going to be this. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do in this colour? We want to mess around with some of these leg plates. Let's make the back some of these. This really doesn't matter very much, like I say. We just want it to blend. So let's add the Sky Castle blue in there. No, I've already done that. I'm getting them mixed up. Sky Castle and Deep Armor. Deep Armor, Deeper is bluer, obviously. What am I talking about? I am losing the plot here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but, let's start colouring in the rest of him. These parts of the armor all need to be the Deep Blue. These parts, Deep Blue, Deep Blue, Deep Blue. And then these actually want to be the other colour. Now it doesn't particularly look amazingly Hollow Knight at the moment, but it's not Hollow Knight, Shovel Knight, but it will get there. We're going to add in some gold, and that's really going to help bring him a bit more to life. In fact, the base of these horns are going to be gold as well. We're going to add more gold in where we need it. <clears throat> and then we want a bit of bone colouring, I think. Uh, maybe some wood colouring instead. Uh, bone is what I'm mostly thinking. Yeah, that's probably the best. That's a bit too brown. Yeah, let's stick with that. Cool. Now that most of this colouring is done, we can add in the extraneous parts, the gloves, the boots, and the pauldrons. So let's get the boots in first, because this is this is freaking me out. <laughs> um, so, clothing, feet. I have exactly in mind the shoes I want to use here. And they're a bit further down, and they are... Survey says, where are you? Come on, where have you gone? I know you're around here somewhere. There you go, the armored boots. As you can see, covering up quite a lot of what we've got going on. And in terms of the gloves, looking at it, we want something bulky. We want something, again, that can be quite segmented. And I have, again, something in mind for this. Around here somewhere. See, these are an option, but a bit too segmented, if anything, and not quite bulky enough for my liking. The Paladin's Gauntlets, again, are an option, but realistically, I think we want something even bigger if we can. Something like maybe the Assault Armor Gauntlets would be fun. Not quite right. Heavy metal gauntlets are an option here. Maybe the tactical armor gauntlets? No, they're not quite right. This is quite a difficult choice to make on the gloves. But it is all going to come together. I think we may have already happened upon the one we want to use. I just can't quite decide. So let's control Z through it. Not those. And not those. Hmm... Be 
these ones? Mm, I don't know. I think these might be the best. Which ones were these? That, where are you? There you are. Paladin's Gauntlets. I mean, that does make sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's stick with that. And now let's get some more colour on the go. Very easy to fill these in, really. Um, it doesn't... I'm just using my, 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 my image as kind of a semi-guide. In reality, it doesn't really matter which blues you use where. The vast majority of this it's kind of interchangeable. So I'm just going to throw in like random bits here and there and just kind of see how it looks. I think it's probably just going to look fine. As long as there's a bit of blending going on, then it will all be pretty okay. Bit of blending in there, on the shoe, the shoe. It's not really shoes, it's boots, isn't it? And again, you see, it doesn't really matter. Like, that looks fine to me. Um, what I might want to do is edit his posture a little bit. And then we can finally work on the gloves, and that is basically just darker at the, um, at the fingers. And everything else is kind of just the light blue. Maybe I'll make that bit the dark blue. And everything else just becomes light. Very simple. <clears throat> and there we have it. For the most part, Shovel Knight is done. One thing I do want to do, as I say, I need to edit the um, the measurements quite drastically. His height needs to come down a little bit. And now that I think about it, he needs to be a bit sort of bulkier build up there. Take the height down even more. He is a little fella. Let's make the... Uh, the lower weight a little bit more, and that will do quite nicely. Cool! The last bit of clothing we need to add are the pauldrons, um, and these are very simple, like looking at him as I am, I've already got an idea of what I want to use here. Just the, the big, the big plate mail ones. Like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. We've already got the colours we need for it. Uh, just light blue and gold, so let's make that happen. White, blue, and gold. So that's pretty much all we need to do on, on him. Uh, I do want to make the pose now, and again, I know we use this for Toph, but I think this one's going to be the best option here. Um, last thing I want to do, actually, in terms of those pauldrons, is actually just make them bigger. Um, like, they are just big old things. Let's make them 1.15. One point one five, and we can manoeuvre them as we need, um, which I may do just to sort of. There we go. Let's move that in a little bit. Take it down to there. Make sure it's not clipping. Same thing with your boy here. Let's take it down. Make sure it's not clipping too much. And that will be just fine. So there we have Shovel Knight mostly done in terms of you know what he looks like. We're going to very quickly check out the base. Um, base items, I mean, from the saving or loading screen, he's by a campfire. <clears throat> so I do want to add a campfire in there. Uh, let's just add some pine cones as well. And in item B, we'll put the... Uh, the, uh, the campfire, if I can find it. Come on, you're a fire. How do we need to find? <laughs> um, where is the campfire, guys? Yeah, if you see it, there it is. And at the moment, uh, he's not on fire. Excellent. We are going to just move it just a little bit further out, just to make sure you know he actually isn't, you know, on fire. Um, so pose, advance. Let's move the fire just a tad sideways and forwards. Grand. Add a little bit of colour. Uh, for, uh, for the ground, we kind of want a mix of 
of stone. And I think mossy cobble would be nice here. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll have a bit of grass in it all. Um, no, we won't have a little bit of grass in. That looks awful. Um, let's just make it a little bit more of this and some of that. That will play. That will play quite nicely. Uh, I want to make the uh, the green stand a little bit more. Let's make this mid. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I like that a lot more. A lot more. And I just want to get those in there as well. Uh, in terms of all this stuff, very simple to do. We're just going to make some nice pine cones. We'll make the outer wood that colour. We'll make the inner wood uh, that colour. <clears throat> and now we'll just do some fire. Just a nice little fire. Perfect. So that's nearly done. But what are we missing, gang? I think it's fairly obvious that we're missing his signature weapon. Uh, the last thing we want to add, therefore, is his weapon. Now... Can we get Shovel Knight his weapon? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't have done Shovel Knight if you couldn't have a shovel. Now I just need to find it, because I don't know where the shovel is. It does exist. It is here somewhere. I'd have thought it'd be here, like if the cricket bat is here, then you'd have thought the shovel would be. You'd think wrong, it's not. Uh, let's look in miscellaneous. It's bound to be in miscellaneous if it's anywhere. Come on, where are you, Shovel? There's a pickaxe, we're on the right track. There's your boy. Dig the hole! I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. So, now that's a horrible pose. We need to amend that, like, immediately, you know, if not sooner. First, I just want to make sure he's... Ooh, that's not good. Looking in the right direction. Bend it down a bit. That's fine. Just want to. Nope, not that. Bend the wrist to there. And now we can work on this because this is just awful posing. That needs to come down there. We need to twist that around to here. Uh, we need to reverse the hold on the shovel, obviously. And what might be fun, let's see if we can just do it this way. Yeah, I think it's better if you tell me like this. So let's mess with this a bit more. Let's um, tilt this to there, I think. And really, I want it facing out a little bit, if at all possible. So let's move the elbow even further out. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'll have him not quite tilting it that much. Let's twist it around some more, bend it up a little bit. Let's twist this around. We need it to be gripped further towards the end. Let's twist it around so we can see that it's a shovel. And finally, finally, let's paint it. Bit of colour on there. Why not? Let's push the boat out. Uh, double wood on the handle. Let's have you and a lighter one, I think. Very nice. Very nice. Some metal. I think his handle is actually blue. And then we can have this. Oh, it's two tone. I didn't know that. I think we just want it to be singular tone. And I think we just want to take the, the blue down just a touch. From the high, we want to go and transverse it to more of a low blue. Yeah. That, I 
think is about as good as we're going to get. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Shovel Knight. So, thank you all very much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Let's do a little tour. Should we do a little tour of Shovel Knight? So, as you can see, very simple build once again. We didn't need to mess around too much with the bodywork. We wanted, actually, we wanted armor as simple as possible, just to segment it in, in certain ways. And we just mi mess around with the lighter and darker blues. It doesn't really matter where you put them, so long as you have the main aspects fine. Uh, you've got sort of the, the gold piping on there as well. Uh, a natural pose looking more like the kind of the save screen. Uh, the shovel, of course, in hand. Uh, he looks ready for combat, and he's got his horned helmet that we created ourselves. So that is going to be it from this episode, as I say. Um, thank you all for watching. Do hope that you enjoyed once more. Um, remember, if there are any characters you want to see me make, put them down in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter. You can always catch me there. Both of my Twitter links will be in the description, along with a link to Hero Forge. It's always going to be in the description and on the bottom right of your screen. It is the site, my go-to site for making minifigures for D&D. Um, I love it. I use it more than almost any website on the internet. Um, if you're looking to make D&D minifigures or minifigures for any tabletop role-playing game, I recommend using Hero Forge, um, and I'm not even sponsored by them. <laughs> I recommend giving them a go. Um, very easy to use, very simple, always adding new stuff. So yeah, check out the link in the description. Uh, also, while you're there, make sure to check out um, Tulok the Barbarian, his series Building Characters, what inspired this series. So that will be there as well, make sure you check it out. But I'm going to get out of here, I've rambled for far too long, so my final thank you to you all for watching. And I guess with that, I'll see you next time. Laters.